So guys, there's a lot of things we found out today when testing out a multitude of roles in regards to Gnorris Axe. This is a precision frame shotgun, meaning it is a slug shotgun, similar to something like Chaperone. But the difference between this and something like Chaperone is of course we can apply mods. I know many of us like Chaperone, but can you imagine Chaperone with Icarus? Which is essentially what we're trying to accomplish here with Gnorris Axe. We want to get the range in terms of one hit kill potential as close as we can possibly get it to chaperones but get a leg up in consistency and for those that don't know slug shotguns are absolutely disgusting in the right hands and when the inevitable nerf comes to lord of wolves i know nobody likes to talk about it but when it comes you might want to have one of these shotguns ready to take its place with that being said guys let's talk about the roles we have going on here because we've got a bunch of them that we tried out today first up this one is actually on safe's account. It came with full bore, Akira's rounds, quick draw, and snapshot. Again, this one also came with a range masterwork, and as you can see there from the range stat, it's completely maxed out. Obviously looks like the ideal god roll. This would be the roll, boys, or so it seemed. This particular shotgun actually had a max one hit kill range of 11.5 to 12 meters. Not bad, but still two meters less than what Chaperone can pull off without roadborne. But but just going over the traits itself, having quick draw and snapshot allowed us to immediately be aiming down sights and simultaneously have that quick draw time when we need to have the shotgun out immediately. Both of these traits are very nice, especially if we're trying to spec out for max range. This would seem like the ideal gun roll, which takes us to the second roll. The second roll, which was on Loke's account, actually came with full bore, accurate rounds, quick draw, and opening shot. Now, opening shot is a really, really good trait improves accuracy and range on the opening shot of attack and that improvement in range actually extends our one hit kill potential to 12 and a half meters now again that extension there in range is only on the initial shot so if you happen to miss that shot and you're still trying to get the one hit kill from that 12 and a half meters you'll probably die because you will not hit maximum damage now i'm not gonna lie this appeared to be the god roll i think many of us would have looked at this and said hey the only thing missing is a range masterwork to max out our range but the question of the day boys does range even matter what of course range matters right that's what we've been told since preschool range on a shotgun matters until we started running the numbers which got us even more confused first up our shotgun right here is fully maxed out on range full bore accurate rounds everything is locked and loaded for it to hit its highest kill potential and at 12 meters here i did 195 damage to showcase that opening shot is at work here and 174 damage now not moving my character is standing still i swap one of the perks here the barrel perk to chamber compensator instead of full bore. Now this takes away that ginormous range buff that we get from full bore, which means the damage that should be showing up right now should be substantially less. But instead, we hit 195 and 170. Now substantially less doesn't seem all that substantial. Yes, we did hit four less damage on the second shot, but notice that opening shot on that initial shot was not phased at all. So then I decided to take Akira's rounds off, put on steady rounds, which actually gives us a negative five range stat. So instead of us having 93 range, we're actually sitting at 65 range. So now we should definitely have substantially less damage, right? But instead we hit 195 and 170 again. Now I think the reason why this is guys is because all slug shotties or maybe even all shotguns have a cap on them, but especially slug shotguns. You see guys, I think a max range shotgun, say if you fully max it out and you have traits like opening shot could actually stretch much further than the 12 and a half 13 meters that we see here but bungee caps it out and the question that we have to ask ourselves is at what range stat is our one hit kill potential capped out because if we're sitting there loading everything into range then it's just a waste now i don't know what that range ceiling is there is a ceiling because obviously we have a range cap here is it 65 is it 70 i don't know all i know is is that on both sides of the spectrum when I loaded out this shotgun in either maximum range or actually went as far as to lower its range there was just no major difference in its one hit kill potential now it kills me because I 
want to know where the sweet spot is. But I just want to get the point across that the most important thing here is the traits that you have on this gun over anything else. So if you happen to get a good roll in terms of traits this week, but it doesn't come with something like a ranged masterwork, for the love of God, do not scrap it. Which takes us to the rolls that I would be looking for. The first trait that I would definitely seek for my guys that like to just roll up in there Go in for the sneak attack, the assassin attack with your slug shotty. Hands down, opening shot is the best trait for you. You get that immediate buff there in one hit kill range. But again, simultaneously, you also get a buff there in accuracy. It's a really good trait, guys. And it goes hand in hand with these slug shotties. Now, the other trait that is actually more lethal than opening shot is actually swashbuckler. Now, swashbuckler can do a lot of different things. Number one, it actually has a one hit kill range of 12 and a half to 13 meters, which is extremely nasty. This is stretching even further than even something like opening shot. Now Swashbuckler times five also gives us the ability to body shot kill at 10 meters on Guardian six resilience or less. And the third thing that Swashbuckler times five can do, or at least what I've been told, I forgot to test this, but I heard that Swashbuckler times five can actually shut down supers. So Somebody in the comments let me know i didn't actually test this out had some boys in discord earlier talking about it though sounds about right i mean you get a pretty substantial buff there in damage so it actually might be enough there to shut down supers so those are like the two traits i would choose over everything else there's a lot of other good traits in this column but if you're looking for the most consistent traits or the most lethal traits opening shot or swashbuckler is the way to go now our other trait column is really going to depend on what we want to do with the rest of our shotgun you see like i said a second ago range doesn't seem to play that big of a role in extending our one hit kill potential as our slug shotgun here is already capped to begin with so if it's already capped to begin with a trade combination that i would consider is actually assault mag and full auto both of these would speed up the rate of fire for the slug shotgun so that for those situations when you do have multiple targets in front of you or maybe you happen to miss your first shot you can quickly recover and get that second shot off and like i said if range is already capped on this weapon to the point that adding more range to it is not really helping it i would actually consider something like fluted barrel so fluted barrel assault mag full auto and opening shot now i know this sounds extremely bizarre just about every video we've ever made in regards to a shotgun has always advocated for accurate rounds quick draw rifle barrel or some sort of barrel that boosts its range but like i said earlier if range is not greatly benefiting us by extending that one hit kill range there's no point in even loading it out I would actually go for something like fluted barrel on the shotgun. This would actually throw our handling up to 83. And if you also had a handling masterwork, that damn near maxes it out. So that would be the ideal role for me. Again, like I said, where the default range is at on this shotgun, I think it already hits the range cap. And the only thing here that's gonna extend our one hit kill range is either something like swashbuckler or opening shot. So guys, that is our review here for Ganora's Axe. Let me know in the comments below what you think. Overall, it's a fantastic feeling shotgun. If you're new to slug shotguns, you're gonna really enjoy this one. Fellas and ladies, thank you all for coming and watching. And as always, slap that like button like your mama told you right.